What's up, YouTube? This is Scruffy from Team Dark Horse. Uh, this is part two of my deck update. Yeah, let's see, I left off at Mind Control. Alright. Foolish Burial yesterday at the tourney worked out pretty amazing. Basically, I'd love to combine it with one for one. Uh, get out Glow Bulb, Foolish a Dandy, get plus two from Formula Synchron, and still have your summon. Otherwise, Foolish Burial was mainly used for Glow Up or Spore. Um, if I wasn't, basically, you hit these three targets. There's not much of a reason to discard any, to send anything else to the grave. Uh, worked very well. I wish that was at two. <laughs> See, these all worked out great. I mean, I couldn't complain. Actually, Trunade could, I almost wished it was MST. I would rather have had the destruction yesterday. Monster Born worked amazing with Lone Fire. Got out Shooting Star, turn one, very first match. That, I mean, it's broken. Uh, bottomless worked out amazing. I can't complain about that. Double double Bottomless actually won me a game against Plant Synchro. Uh, guy ran into Bottomless twice when I had a Bamboo Shootout. He was pretty ticked. Warning, there's, I don't know why people say the cost is too much. 2,000 is not a lot at all compared to negating an entire summon. Um, it helps against Caius. I mean, just anything that has an out to bamboo. I love it. Mirror Force, Torrential, they all worked. Judgment. Let's see. This. I don't didn't know what to do with this. It was good. It was never bad. But I'm wondering if there's better tech than this card in the deck. Um... I didn't get to do many big plays with Call of the Haunted. Uh, I mainly just brought stuff back out, either attribute it for Bamboo, uh, Call of the Haunted Lone Fire. Did not happen. I think it happened like once. Um, brought back T-King a couple times. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I'm still on the fence on this one. This is something that you could swap out for something else. And seven tools. I still love this card. Um, they did warning my Bamboo once, and I actually had seven tools ready. They took it. I, I uh, seven tools to their judgment once, so they paid four thousand. I paid one thousand and still got my effect. It was pretty sweet. I love this card at one. And that was pretty much the main deck. There wasn't much to say for the traps. They're pretty standard. Only tech I run are these two. Really, uh, sorry about the glare. Um, but either way, you guys could swap this out if you end up. Uh, trying this out, this and the third bamboo. Otherwise I don't I wouldn't mess with a whole lot of the other stuff. For the side, go over this kind of quick. Effect Veiler. I didn't get to play this. I I sided in against a lot of stuff, just never saw it. Um sided that in against plant synchro sabers. Wish I had a saw it, but it's not a big deal. My body misplayed, lost me the game. I completely forgot I had this set. Summon T King. Uh, they bottom list. If I had my bodied, he, he's on the field. I also had called the hunted set, so I could have played everything different. That's just my fault. Still liked my body though. Enemy control. I sided in against a lot of stuff actually. There was, I don't. There might have been a couple times I didn't side it in, but otherwise it was just really good tech. Always ended up uh, removing uh, a monster for Spore, taking their monster, and then sinking it out with a uh, mill from Glow Up Bulb. It, just a big minus play. It worked out really well. I was, I'm actually thinking about main decking enemy controller. Consecrated worked pretty well against GKs. Uh, they didn't do a whole lot of anything with this out. I was able to one for use one for one, get it to the field really quick, and I got the bamboo lock, and there wasn't much they could do at all. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I only like one though. I think I think one of these is good enough in this particular side because you can draw it, play it, or you can use one for one to get it out really quick. Two Divine Wrath I played. Um, basically, I said this is sent against Plant Synchro. This it were it worked good. But I really didn't like the minuses a whole lot. It sucked because I kind of had to he keep having a card in my hand. It actually was pretty good. I hate having to discard, but it was some of my only outs to Debris Dragon. I wish I had Chain Disappearance, but I don't have that card. Chain Disappearance would have changed 
get my results a lot yesterday because I actually drew into these a lot, and I might have, I probably would have taken these out for chain disappearance. Played two magic drain, sided these in against uh, grave keepers. Never saw it. Basically, magic drain their uh, their necro valley or their real tribute. Basically, it's either minus one or they don't get it at all. Let's see. These were in case I saw Royal Decree today. You'd think Plant Synchro was side in Decree against me, but they didn't, so I don't know why. Did not get to play these at all, except for against GKs, which I drew into it twice in Game 2, so uh, <laughs> that's why I won Game 2. Uh, I'm thinking about main decking one of these for a better Game 1 matchup. Maybe over Call. I still don't know what to do about Bamboo, but... Let's see, Nobleman sided a... Both, I actually saw this card a lot. I decided these in against Plant Synchro and see Sabers. Sabers took out their Dark Soul uh, and their Emmer's Blade. I actually got it off twice. And see game one of the Plant Synchro decks. Uh, game two, we saw it twice. Got the Ryko and got one of their Snowman Eaters. But otherwise, uh, it didn't hit as many targets as I've wanted. I didn't hit Ryko as much as I wanted. Ended up being like a Dandelion, which is pretty good, but they still had the second, so it wasn't a big deal for them. Still a good card. Didn't see it. The guy who plays GBs did not come up today, so I didn't even get to use this at all. But I would have been ready. And lastly, Starlight Road. Uh, Sided this in against Plant Synchro and never saw it, so kind of unfortunate that I didn't get to see some of this stuff. At a, some of the side, but it happens. I try to avoid citing in too many cards because I don't want to change the flow of the deck because it does it does very well. And the only thing I need to cite in kind of extreme into would be Gravekeepers because Avarice is dead. Uh, let's see. Uh, Monster Reborn's dead. A Call is dead. And I don't really have an out. So that's pretty much it. The extra deck stayed the same. Not much to complain about this extra deck. I never got more than two formula synchron out. I never wanted to go into more than two formula synchron, so that was a pretty good thing. I actually went into two black rows, so I'm glad I didn't side out or decide to go three formula. Um, but that's my deck. Uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, pretty much it went seven four. Had a lot of fun. I might run this next weekend at locals again with a couple of different choices. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Alright, this is Scruffy from Team Dark Horse. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later.